You know, I learned recently how Schumann waves are created on the planet. That's one of the purposes of lightning. Mm. Lightning creates Schumann waves. You increase the amount of Schumann waves in the area when there's lightning. And that's why after a, a, a thunderstorm, the air is fresh and it's mm -hmm. clean because mm -hmm. there's more of that wavelength pattern that humans resonate with very well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I was just starting my practice in 1980, we had an instrument called the electro mm -hmm. And we would use it to treat different joint pains and different symptoms. And I'd use it on the ears for auricular acupuncture. Mm -hmm. But we also had a headband. And at the end of the day, you know, I just lay down for 20 minutes with the headband and it was set to 7.83. So it helped my brain generate more Schumann waves, the 7.83 megahertz. So by the time I went home, 30 minutes later, 40 minutes later, I was like, I had just meditated for an hour. Mm -hmm. All the stress of the day had calmed down. I mean, it was really quite remarkable to see. I'm going to talk about how I first learned about electrical energy for everyone. Mm -hmm. And it's because it'll help you to understand why the experts that Dr. Christine has brought together, the world experts are so cool to listen to. So this is my first week in my education, my very first week in school uh, uh, in Chicago, chiropractic school. And I saw that Dr. Sheldon Deal was coming to speak that weekend, Mr. Arizona. And I thought, oh, the guy's a bodybuilder. Okay. That, I'll go listen to this guy. I'm sure he's got some ideas about health. And so I went and he had a color television on a stand uh, in the room. And the color television was turned on, but the volume was turned off. So you just see the picture. This was 1978, January, 1978. I know because it was my first week in school. Uh, and he walked over to his briefcase on another table, opened it up and took out a uh, bar magnet the size of an iPhone mm. and he held it up like a policeman holds a flashlight and he walked up to the color television the picture turned upside down and when he walked away the picture turned right side up and he walked towards it and the picture turned upside down and he walked away and the picture turned right side up and he said that's what electromagnetic energy does to your brain and your nervous system. It just switch, it's called neurological switching. Mm -hmm. And so people that say right when they mean left, they write the number three backwards. When, you know, they're, they're trying to, they want to move with their left foot and they can't quite, and they go with their right foot. Many times there's a neurological switching mechanism, which I use as a cue to look at electromagnetic pollution in their life. Mm -hmm. So if your child is writing things backwards, you wanna think about this and you'll learn so many concepts in Dr. Christine's uh, summit from the experts. You know, for example, I'm sure they talk about uh, radio clocks next to the bed. It's on the nightstand, so it's right by your brain all night. And sometimes the wiring in those clocks is not very good and it leaks electromagnetic pollution. Get it over on the dresser, right? You know, so you'll learn all kinds of little things like that, but that's how I first learned about it. And back then we weren't talking about cell phones. There were no cell phones. We were talking about electric watches and the dangers of a battery in a watch, which we now just take for granted and assume it's normal and okay, because there's so many other polluting devices that are so much more powerful. We don't think about the electric watches.